Hey, what's up? It's Olivia Lunny here, and you're watching my most requested live Ask Me Anything chat. Before we dive into anything, I just want to say huge shout out to Romeo and iHeartRadio for having me on the show tonight. I'm so excited to be here, and I just released a new song, a new single called Wonderland. I am so thrilled that it's finally out in the world, and you get to hear it. So we're going to dive into that a little bit later, and for now, let's dive into some questions. Okay, starting from my hometown, Winnipeg, we got Jenna from Winnipeg. Can you give us your full name with the proper hometown accent? So my name is Olivia Lunny, and I don't think I have an accent, but I have been told that when I go to the U.S. or go other places, apparently I do sound Canadian. I don't know if as Winnipeggers we have our own dialect, but I mean, I guess I will never know, but the people around me will know. Um, Nell from Detroit says, if my grandma DM'd you, how would you describe what you do for a living? All right, well, I mean, I hope your grandma DMs me. If she's on Instagram, that's super cool, or Twitter, that's amazing. But I would say the short-winded answer is I'm a musician. I write music, I record music, I play live music, and, you know, with that also comes different hats. Sometimes I do photo shoots, sometimes I do um zoom calls and interviews sometimes i do stuff like this so it's it's pretty cool to call this a job and yeah i mean honestly i'm super grateful for that what else do we got all right penny from buffalo new york what would you say is wonderful quotation about you also i really like wonderland well, I'm really happy that you like Wonderland because actually it's one of my favorite songs I've put out so far. So amazing, glad to hear. But, um, hmm. You know, I think I would say I'm a pretty good listener. I think lots of my friends and family come to me just, just to talk or to rant. And I think being a good listener means you don't always have to offer up advice, but you're still, you're still there and you kind of just know your place in a situation. So I would like to think I'm a good listener. Um, Brittany from Red Deer, Alberta. It's great to see some Canadians in here. This is amazing. Um, hey, Brittany. Uh, my Thanksgiving, Lisa says, how's your Thanksgiving? Honestly, I, I didn't really do anything for Thanksgiving. I think the past few years I've just been traveling and my family's been in different places. So obviously we'll, we'll FaceTime and we'll get together and do that. But this year I just spent it with my sister um she made soup and then we watched alice in wonderland and it was really cozy really low-key but i do miss big thanksgivings with all the family and all the food and i just think it's a really nostalgic beautiful time so i personally love thanksgiving and this one was low-key but it's still really beautiful these are great questions too i love these are in depth um Karen from Burlington, how was the whole launch experience? What made you sign up for it? All right, so I guess for those of you who don't know, I was on a show, a TV show called The Launch, and it was really amazing and incredible and random. And I didn't actually uh, sign up on my own. I got scouted for the show. So I was working at a candle shop at the time and I was checking my email and this a &R had reached out and said, hey, we like your music, you should apply for the show. So I did that thinking absolutely nothing of it and I ended up going on the show. I was fortunate enough to win the show and I just think it was truly a, an amazing experience for me, especially so early on, you know, having your artistry and your music put to a test and challenged by other people really made me figure out what I wanted as an artist, how I wanted to be perceived, how I wanted to authentically come across to people. And honestly, it, it truly did launch my music career, especially in Canada. So no pun intended. It was truly amazing. So grateful for that show. Uh, Indianapolis, someone says, if you did a Christmas record, what is your favorite song and how would you record it? So I'm happy you asked this because I actually have a Christmas song coming out. I haven't announced the title yet, but I'm super excited because we originally were just going to do obviously a cover of a song. There's so many amazing Christmas songs, but we ended up going to the studio and writing a really beautiful original Christmas song. And I don't think there's tons of those anymore. You know, we got the classics, we got Mariah Carey, which 
of course, can't complain, love it. But I'm super excited to share this original song that will be coming out around Christmas. And I would say it's more, it's more of a holiday song. So December, cozy, romance. Yeah, I'm really excited to share it. So um, yeah, stay tuned. All right, Leanna from Collingwood goes, if you spoke to my high school music class, what wisdom would you throw on us? Oof, I gotta think about this. Um, first of all, shout out for being a music teacher, that's amazing. We need more music in this world and in our schools, that's awesome. I think what I would say for people, I guess this is open-ended, but if they wanted to pursue music, I think what I would say is find like-minded people and find mentors and find people who can kind of push you into that direction. Growing up in Winnipeg, I'm super blessed to have so many amazing musicians around me and friends who were so talented. And I think by being around those people all the time, I really just got, got into music and then music kind of just ended up taking up my social circle, my, you know, my, my music circle, my family circle. It kind of just simultaneously became a huge part of my life. So I think that's the first step and then just persistence and finding what your talents are and, and honing in on your craft. And yeah, music's just beautiful. Music's amazing. So I, I hope that there's people in your class who want to pursue it because music's the best. So I think we got to most of these and that was actually really fun. That was so great. Thank you everyone for submitting um, your questions. Again, my new song is called Wonderland and I'm super excited for you to hear it and for you to listen to it. Basically how that song came about was I watched Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, rewatched it for the first time with my sister-in-law who had never seen it. And then after that, I ended up going to a session a few weeks later. And I think I was subconsciously inspired by that world of, you know, that whimsical nature and really childlike feeling. So when I got to the session, I said to my collaborator, AJ, I just, I want to write a song with a really cool theme. And we both ended up, you know, loving Wonderland. And then this whole song was born. So it's just about being in a state of flow, being in a place where nothing else matters and you're chasing your dreams or you're with someone you love and the world just kind of slows down around you and you're in Wonderland. So yeah, thank you again so much. Ask anything. Thank you, Romeo. Thank you, iHeartRadio. And I hope you can go listen to Wonderland. I hope you love it. And I hope I answered all your questions. So again, my name is Olivia Lunny and yeah, peace and love.